Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited, episode 11. 11. And we're on part 8 of our uh, trek through the Pergorus Mining Station. We were in the middle of a workbench, and to do the other thing I wanted to do, I need to level up. I was going to try to do some of the crafting off-camera just to speed that up a little bit, but uh, since leveling up is an important part of it because I need the increased repair skill to build the component I need, and I want to do all the leveling up on screen. Let's uh, level up, and then we'll do a little bit more of the creation stuff. So level up. And for attribute... Oh, we get a bump. Where do we want to put that bump? Um... Hmm. I can put it in a strength, but it doesn't help just yet. It'll only help at level 8. I can put it in wisdom, and it'll help immediately right now, in that it'll give me more force points to work with. It'll increase the saving throws and DC and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, although I am going to want to get an increase in constitution at some point soon, as well as strength. Let's, um, hmm. You find a lot of strength boosting gear as you go. You find a lot of wisdom boosting gear as you go. Uh, and constitution impacts the level of implant you can use. So let's go ahead and bump up constitution. And for skills, we're doing our computer use, persuade, security. And I can get treat injury up to seven, but then my awareness is falling a little bit further behind. Yeah, I guess I guess those are going to be forever down by two. If I can find, I might end up taking a feat that'll bump awareness and treat injury if I could, or one or the other or both. Okay. And powers. Mm, can I get the next force push? No. Uh, I could do mind trick, which is universal, but that's not very useful. I can do force scream. That's dark side. No. Drain force is dark side. No. Throw Lightsaber, I have on good authority, is less useful in Knights of the Old Republic 2 than it was in the first one. So unless I got nothing else to take, I'm not going to take it. Uh, for Suppression... Looks good on paper. But I... We're not going to run into as many Jedi in this one as we are in the, old Repub the first Old Republic, so... Not going to worry about that one. Uh, drain life, that's a dark side thing. Shock, that's a dark side thing. Fear, that's a dark side thing. Slow is a dark side... Oh, 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 that's it. We need the stun lines. And effect mine. Although I'm going to take effect mine when we get to another place because we don't have too many people. I know I want stun and stun droid. As much as I'd love to take stun right out the gate right now, we're running into far more droids across this place than we are people. So I'm going to pick stun droid and then find out that I'm not going to run into too many more and I'm going to start running into more people. But, you know, we'll go with that. Add power. Okay. And accept. Okay. And let's create... Melee. Wait. Um, hmm. I need one more of my... I thought I... Oh, no, I didn't put one more in the repair. Doggone it. That's right, because repair is a... No? How did that not... You know what? Fine. Alright, create, melee, 
Let's make that grip real quick. Um, hmm. Now we don't need a field survival pistol. Although it is fully upgradable. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make one of those. Uh, because we could take... That's basically keen for a rifle. Oh, that's right, because we could put a scope on our um, sonic rifle. Or we could bump the... Uh, bump the attack modifier. Yeah, let's do that. Twice over. And I think uh, we'll need to see what we got left. I hate that you know, as he's staring at the ceiling. And that you got to keep going back and forth to the workbench between create and upgrade. Alright, so this we can upgrade the scope. So let's add that and assemble. So we got our uniform as upgraded as we can. We got our sonic rifle as upgraded as we can. Our long sword. Uh, the, you can only upgrade the edge and the grip. We got the edge. And we can now add the grip. That gives you an extra damage bonus of one. For some reason. And the field survival pistol. We can put in that accuracy scope. We can put in that broadening fire chamber. And it looks like we need a power pack. All right, let's go see what kind of power pack we can put in this thing. Oop. Create ranged uh, damage bonus two. Massive crits. Um, yeah, let, let's just, um, let's. Let's do the power crystal. Oh, wait, no, what's that? Oh, that's extra iron damage. Yeah, let's do that instead. Yeah, and that's... We've only got the one weapon that can upgrade that. Alright, upgrade. Oh, because I didn't assemble it with the other stuff. <laughs> okay, assemble. So we got a fully upgraded field survival pistol, a longsword, a rifle, a uniform. All right. Last part, and then we'll get back to the business of uh, doing some business. Let's put that upgraded longsword on our main hand. And now we can put the vibro cutter on our off hand. So our sonic rifle does 2 to 14. Two to sixteen, one to twelve, one to four, unless we get an extra well, an extra one to six versus droids. Oh, and we could put that in the offhand. I almost want to put that in the offhand instead of the uh the other sword. You know what? Now, let, let's stick with the Sonic Rifle. I think we'll put the uh, Field Survival Pistol in somebody else's uh, capable hands. Okay. Yeah. Now that we got our voice print, uh, let's... It is a pleasure to see you. It oh, I bet it is. To see you intact, How, How many be of assistance? 
Can you play back the maintenance officer's last words? No. Let's go back to the body. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. I know. He was quite incoherent from the pain. An attempt to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying scream. Okay. Um. Did he say anything at the end? Five droids. Yep. 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 Can't you speak the voice code? Persuade and sonic sensor. There we go. And this is why we maxed out persuade. Uh, yes, I think that's all I'll need. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Um. What are the questions? I think that also is missing. Alright, never mind. Body, hangar bay. Ooh. Nope. I'll be going now. Alright. Let, uh, you know what? We just accomplished a lot. Let's go ahead and save the game. <laughs> okay. That's the door we came through. Where things exploded and bad stuff happened. And now we can get back to the business of making... Oh. oh. Well, hello. Let's, uh, queue up those flurries. I mean, that's why we got multiple weapons, right? Bam! Well, that went easier. Bet it goes even better once you have, uh, two lightsabers. Or double-bladed saber. Alright. Ooh. Droid Deflector Mark 1. I'm sure that'll be useful eventually. Nothing in there. Oh! Hi, guys. I wasn't quite ready for you, but, uh... Let's dance this dance. I was hoping that would do more. Oh! That went, uh, quicker than I was expecting. Oh, you need to blast it open with a mine. What about this one? I don't want to waste mines. Oh! Hello! I, I really wasn't expecting to uh, open the door and see you standing there. Floria misses. Oh! Oh my. Um, I need to stun you. Get a med pack in there. And then flurry. Uh. Are, are, are we done? Are we done now? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to waste a mind blowing up a door that I've already walked around. There's literally no loot boxes in here? Oh, come on, man. I thought this was EA. Where's my loot boxes? Oh, wait, no, this is Obsidian. Never mind. Sorry. I almost couldn't help that. Alright, so we got some doors there. We got some stuff down there. Let's do these doors here first. Uh, okay, fine.
Why are you going through every... That was the most idiotic targeting decision I... Fine. Fine. What's behind security door number three? Locked. Of course it is. And those are not lootable because of course they are. And over here, we've got a door and a turbo lift. All right, let's try the door first. Ooh, a reflex package. I will take all of that. And yes, minimum constitution 12. See, this is one of the changes between uh, Knights of the Old Republic, the first one, and the second one. In the first one, you had to have a feat for class one. Uh, equipment. And you had to upgrade it to second level feet for class two, third level feet for class three. This one is purely based off your constitution score. So, depending on how you roll, literally, you, you may end up with a bunch of stuff that you just can't use. But at least you can break it down, so there is, there is that. Alright, anything else I need to... Oh yeah, that's right. I got the demolitions or fortitude. I'm going to stick with the, the demolitions because I seem to be doing enough of that to make it worthwhile. Alright, so that is empty. Before I start messing with the computer console, let's see what else we got in here. That's it there. Alright. Let's uh, enter the voice print code. All right, uh, open door to the airlock. Beautiful. And what's in the maintenance logs? Ooh, we got a few of these. All right, let's start with the first one. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Oh, I guess that's how we're supposed to know if we didn't, you know. my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked to my ear protocol the of the hour asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids. So I'm yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I think we know who's responsible for all the trouble. Jedi and Med Bay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy, and that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Jedi, Jedi, Jedi been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights <laughs> and that we can make a Oh no, there's plenty of jumping to conclusions. Down. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... But yeah, Korda would. Let, let's be honest. With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor, using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Yeah, sure he is. Useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused. So huh. The work was reward enough. I was thinking oh, of a oh, that, that's how we know how to speak every language. So instead of you just mysteriously know it, you, you just happen to have a, a sonic imprint sensor that just happens to have a protocol, protocol droids, uh, universal knowledge of languages. Okay. Uh, ooh, the next log is voice printed. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. So 
someone ordered them to repair that freighter. I can't someone. find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions uh -huh. unless they get the code. Sure. Security problems. The droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids, and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it, though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids? Yeah, just what if somebody sent to maintenance and then did something to them? What recently arrived droid could do something like that? They're using the droids to do it, but why? All right. So that's the maintenance logs. What do we have? Check for exits. Check the containment field. Trace the source of the breach. All right. Access to admin. Mining tunnels. Okay. Hmm. Um. The ventilation system period is disabled except in two areas, the mining tunnels and the main living quarters. Okay. I thought there was something else I needed to do in here. Alright, let's go to the comm system. Try to repair it then. Okay. And what do we have for cameras? The containment field camera shows us not much. Droid maintenance area has been sealed. Yada yada. Maintenance level. Oh, well, that looks familiar. Fuel lines. Oh, hey! He looks familiar, too. He's in the fuel line, though? Yeah, it may be your missing T3 unit. There's also some sort of metal case that it keeps drawing your attention to, just in case you didn't see it. Alright. I guess that's everything we can do from here. Ooh, we got some XP, though. That's always nice, too. So there's our turbo lift. But first, let's see what we can do from here. Um... In order to exit the airlock, you'll need a spacesuit stored in the locker in this room. It'll automatically equip. Alright, let's grab one spacesuit. And uh, let's grab oh, one more transition. That's going to be pretty much the end of episode 11, so if you're live with me, hang tight. I just need a couple of seconds to uh, insert a cut and take a very short break, and then I'll be right back. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, 
if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.